where you get your souls fed. <laughs> and today we are talking about 12 ways to ignite your daily life. Not just your life, your daily life. That's like every single day. Every yes. single minute yes. of the day. Every single second. Yes. Every single single millisecond. Yes. You know, make sure your life is ignited. Because mm-hmm. we know going through days there are ups. There's highs, there's lows, there's something in the middle, but we need something that could keep us, keep us going, keep, keep that us fire going. ignited inside of us. Because you know, right. we are inspired fire, so who else better to do this than us? Right. And she wearing the yellow, <laughs> yes. which is the yellow in the fire with the orange <laughs> right. and red. But you know, this made me think about mm-hmm. um, we attended a business, a blogger's business luncheon this week, and a lot of the question that came up multiple times was how do you keep yourself motivated? motivated? How do you so stay true you know lit for what you're trying to do and be building something from the ground and it can get hard it can get right. tough for us to stay motivated mm-hmm. exactly and these things on this list really do yeah. work and they really do help right that's, that's so true the, and i love that you say that to stay motivated and mm-hmm. i was just recently just walking into here and i was mm-hmm. watching a, like um a Facebook video, no, Instagram video from mm-hmm. E.T., the hip-hop feature. And he mm-hmm. was talking about if you put out 500 videos, there's two, there's at least two that's supposed to be viral. The only reason you haven't been viral yet is because you've been starting and stopping, starting and stopping, yeah. starting and stopping. And I was like, okay, so you're yeah. just going to be talking to me like that. <laughs> and so that's what we're going to be working on is igniting the fire every single day. So we don't mm-hmm. start and stop, that we stay consistent exactly and get whatever goal we want to reach so right. that's why we're talking about the ways toilet. to ignite yes. your life exactly okay well should we just jump right into it uh, first we want to say thank you to the yes. lady who gave us this we were attending our the gin austin we, yeah, we, we are girls conference and a young lady stopped us and gave us this card mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we're gonna share these tips. Her name is Sarah Geesh, and Sarah she has a whole movement. If hey, you look Sarah. her up, she's this is her movement, it, Ignite Your Life, 12 Ways. So, yes. tune into her. She has some major gems. Of course, we are gonna be sharing the gems and what they mean to inspire fire. Right, our we, perspective. Yes, mm-hmm. and how we ignite our lives using these 12 beautiful steps. Mm-hmm. Great. So, make sure y'all go ahead and take a share break and share this with all your friends. So, we're about to hop right into it right now. Now, get your pen and paper and your notes. Yes. Yes, because we want to take notes. Yes. yes. Grab your pen, grab your paper, because this is going to be some valuable information. Yes. Awesome. Okay, we're going to hop right into it. And the first thing to ignite your life daily is to trust in spirit. Trust. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean to you guys? I know a lot of times when we have this goal in our mind or something that we want to achieve, our dream, and we... Sometimes we just don't, at times we get shaken off. And this is daily we're speaking. So some days you may feel like on fire, burning, like I'm going to accomplish my dream tomorrow. And then the next day you might feel like my dream, I've been putting so much work in it. And I feel like I just may as well give it up because I don't see the results I want to see. Or maybe you may see like this is a dream I'm just stretching for and reaching for and I'm just never going to achieve it. So that's when that trust comes into play. If you trust, and trust is kind of like knowing, like you don't even have to second guess. It's just the, it's just like anything you practice. You want to practice it and and allow it to come embed, become embedded in you, so that it's something that you automatically know. It's no second guess, and it's not a shout of a doubt that it is going to manifest. And so you constantly have to remind yourself. And I know in the beginning it's going to be a little difficult, but if you keep up with the rep- repetition then trust will be something that's just natural for you. Right. I think about it as trust is equivalent to faith. So there's a lot mm-hmm. of times that I have to remind myself of who I am and who made me and that God has given me a purpose and that I'm made to fulfill that purpose. So right. it's just like when you go back and to really listen to your spirit and really listen to what God has to say for your life, really take the time out to really listen to your intuition because you, you can hear it if you're clear. And if you're asking for it. So I think it's about faith and trusting your spirit every single day to guide you. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what I think. How about you, girl? It's pretty much the same for me when I saw trust in the spirit. I thought of trusting like in the Holy Spirit, trusting yes. in God. And um, it's a choice. You, right. you have to make that choice daily to say, okay, you know what? 
this is my situation. I trust you. Whatever you, you know, you guided me, you mm-hmm. leading me into this situation for a reason. And you have to trust the process, really. Right. And when you do trust the spirit and you trust God, mm-hmm. it is pleasing to him. Mm-hmm. And then in return, you receive peace. You receive peace of mind and provision, which is basically um, whatever he wants you or whatever he needs you to get out of that situation. Mm-hmm. And then in turn, you praise him for that. Because once right. you get through that situation, then you're like, what you doing? Like, yeah. Right, right. So it's like a, it's a process. It's a cycle. And mm-hmm. you have to trust him daily. Definitely. And I know when you don't trust him, it's like, and you sometimes like you listen to your intuition mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you still go against it mm-hmm. and you feel off. So you have to get on the cycle to really, to be happy, mm-hmm. to live out your purpose. You have to have faith and trust God. You can't do it your way. You have to follow the spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, so really take some time out to pray about it and to ask for clarity and ask for guidance and to make those daring prayers to God and be like, Lord, just lead me. And take anything out of my life that don't need to be there and put in everything that needs to be there. It could be a scary prayer, but you have to have faith that everything's going to be okay. And that's using right. using that to your daily life because I know there's times that I get down and what brings me back up where I go to is I put on some gospel music. I, it's either I put on some gospel music, take a praise break, or I am like praying and praying and praying like hold up uh, turn this around real quick really. like just help me help mm-hmm. me I, it may look like everything's okay but mm-hmm. i'm just in my mind i'm just like okay that's right but, and i found something online too that i thought was really cool it's mm-hmm. an acronym for trust and it says um the t is turn to god and you know he says his invitation is come to me like mm-hmm. you know if you come to me i will be everything that you need. I'll give you the strength, you know, right. whatever you need. Right. Um, the R is relinquish control, which relinquishes mm-hmm. to give up. So give up all control to him. Like yeah. you have to realize that, you know, you like, mm-hmm. I can't do it by myself. Can't. Like, right. Absolutely not. Sorry. So, <laughs> like, here. You're right. And then the U is to understand his will. And yeah. that is that he wants you to live a life of abundance and joy and happiness. So just remember the ultimate goal. And then S stands for his promise, stand on his promise. Mm-hmm. And then the last T is thank him. Mm-hmm. That's huge. That gratitude. That gratitude. Then we're going to get yes. to that. I kind of want to talk about it now. You got to thank him in advance, too. That's the thing. Yeah. You got to thank him in advance. Right. Thank, yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Thankfulness could like change your whole freaking life again. But oh, we're going to yes. get to that. But yes, basically trusting Trust. in the spirit, Trust. trusting your intuition and following it through and through it. You know when you're not trusting it or you're not doing something you love or you know something's not right, you, that's when the anxiety comes around. But you know, like when we're at Jen Austin and we're teaching or we're at Lady Park and we're doing workshops, it's like when we feel our best, like this exactly. feels right. right. So automatically, if you're doing that every day, you're going to feel Right, because you're gonna feel right when you're walking in your purpose. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. So trust, so trust. Guys. Number one, trust, trust that you are on the right path when you are living in your passion, mm-hmm. led by the Spirit. Yes, I love that. Mm-hmm. All right, number two. <laughs> two. Take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. And yes. it has in parentheses nourish too. Nourish. Yes. 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 That's the nourish your nourish. Self. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, self care is um, self love, mm-hmm. and um, once again, it's a choice. It's a choice. You gotta if you love yourself, then you're gonna do the things to take care of yourself daily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether that's you know the, the basic things to um, you know eating the right thing, nourishing your mind, right. your body, your spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you definitely. Have to, I like that you said mind, body, and spirit because that's why I know Jess talks about this a lot. Having a great morning routine her routine is off the chain mine's a little different it's, it's a lot of prayer involved and listening to like good music positive music when i'm waking up and just filling my soul up with good things nothing bad nothing negative right so that's an off the chain morning routine <laughs> too. but it's like you have to really like pay attention because it's easy to go down that spiral of negativity oh, yes. like just 
well, busting up the social media. Right, it's just bedside, just start scrolling. That's the first right. thing. Like, you literally might just have to tell yourself, like, disengage. Like, right. you may wake up, grab your phone first thing in the morning, just like, as soon as you pick it up, like, okay, put this phone down. I need to That's take a 10-minute okay. prayer break, a 10-minute mm-hmm. affirmation, a 10-minute just listening to some positive audio, some positive music, something that breathes life into you, speaks life into you, and you or you need to speak life into yourself or connect with God, connect with the divine intelligence and literally just tap into the day and you will be surprised just spending if you're a beginner just spending 20 I mean 10 minutes five minutes if you will in the day in the beginning of the day just nourishing your soul nourishing your body like it will even help you make better choices like if those of you that may be struggling with um, eating um, pro- eating bad eating eating habits. If you wake up in the morning and tell yourself, "I'm only putting the best foods in my body. I'm only, I'm only making the best choices for my health." You will be like just turned off. You might try to go pull over in that. I don't want to say McDonald's line, but that McDonald's line. Chick-fil-A. I think that's everybody's favorite. Right, Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah. I I <laughs> right, because everybody thinks Chick Fil A yeah. is healthy, like but it's, it's better not. Than You're right. Right. Options. right. <laughs> not that healthy. So you might just be like, you know what? I'm not even in the mood for Chick Fil A today. I know that happened to me today. It did happen to me. Too. <laughs> oh, oh, it happened God. to me. My coworker ate Chick Fil A, and I decided to do something better. Yeah. I mean, a burrito, but it went too much better. But, you know, hey, it I went fried. True. I had a free uh, bun cake, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna. I was like, cause it's my birthday. Like, my birthday coming oh, up. Oh yeah. And so I was like, I gotta get this before the end of May. But then I was like, well, I actually need to do this YouTube video of like what I eat in a day. So I was like, let me go out with these uh, stir fry veggies. <laughs> uh, thank you, girl. But it's like, but then I was like, I was breaking out on my face and stuff. And I was just like, damn, that's because this weekend, weekend we wasn't eating good. So I'm like, dang, I can't eat that on top of that. I was like, I'm just going to wait till tomorrow, maybe. Mm-hmm. But keep going. <laughs> no, but see, like, okay, and our body communicates with us. And I think that goes back trusting in the spirit. And it just links down with the nourishment. Because you know how you said when you start eating bad, your body, your face starts breaking out. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's your body, a, way, a form that you're, a way that your body is trying to communicate to you like this is not good for you. And it, and it can come in different ways and, and people have different reactions. Some people may get acid reflux. Some people may get upset stomach. It's just like the foods that we're consuming. And I don't even know if it's just talking about uh, food. I took it a step further and just like we were saying within the morning with mm-hmm. the social media, the media that we put inside of ourselves that's also can be detrimental to your body or it can be nourishing in the television shows it's just the news even i know everybody, oh, I turn that thing. everybody want to know what's happening in the current events <laughs> but the news it's scary it has a lot a lot of negative events that they display and it's you used to work at the news station you know how they tailor those stories i know around. they tell you once you walk in like, when i was an intern they're like oh you're just gonna used to be you're gonna get used to us talking about dead people and we're kind of don't think we're sick if we just start making jokes. And I'm just like, I never want to get to that point. Like, I, I'm i good. Like, I don't want to hear about that be a long time. But, yeah. Right. But, yeah. Definitely nourishing your body, your mind, your soul. And you just feel better. I just love that you said when you nourish your body, you feel good on the outside. You got clear skin and things like that. When you mm-hmm. eat pizza, you're gonna, your skin starts to break out. But that's the same thing. When you're putting in positive things, you feel great. You're exhibiting like light and shining. Mm-hmm. And then, but when you fill your stuff up with negative things, you're walking around like the world is not on your side. And it's because you're filling yourself up with negative stuff. Exactly. And it's hard. And I know it's hard because I've seen it. And I, I've actually like been seeing like, Sometimes I'm like, why people don't get it? Just pour positivity into your life. But it's because we are trained and conditioned. Like, we don't even know that we're just complaining all the time, that we're listening to these things. And I'm just like, but we could all, we could turn around just as long as you are learning and knowing. Right. Like, you can turn around. It's not, it doesn't have to be like this. Right. And I love how you said we've been conditioned. And the way to repel that is just with anything that you do. It's going to, it's breaking it down. Like, take small bits. First, just become aware. Like, okay. The first, if you can just become aware that I'm always complaining all the time or that I'm mm-hmm. always looking at the negative thing in this situation, always looking for the way, the way to, just to complain. Because complaining is just, 
oh, I'm tired, oh, I'm sick of this, oh, this is stupid. Just these things have just become a normal thing to say. It's just, it becomes the cool, it's the cool, hot end thing to just criticize and complain. And But if you just bring awareness to that, and just the, you can still say it for a couple with days, but then just like, dang, why am I even saying this? And you can literally catch yourself and transmute that energy into some, a whole nother phrase that you would, that you could actually say. And you will be surprised when your mind's always hearing you say these negative things. It's, it's actually radiating that thing out of that very thing out of you. But the more you speak positive things, it'll radiate that positive things out of you and it will attract positive things into your life. So it's definitely important to nourish your your um words that you use nourish and we talk about affirmations all, all the, time. the time so speaking life into yourself is so important mm -hmm. and for parents out there and even if you're a friend a sister a brother or anything you not only speak life into yourself nourishing yourself mm -hmm. you have the responsibility if you love the people who are around you to speak life into them as well mm -hmm. because me and my mom were talking about this the other day sometimes people don't know how to pray for themselves and some right. people don't know how to speak life into themselves so you have to take it upon yourself to do that she was saying it was really funny she was talking about as a christian you have to take on the responsibility to do that for other people so i was like dang you right and think about mothers um a tip that i wanted to add to, uh, to self-care is being proactive and preventative that's something she always tells me mm -hmm. it's better proactive. to be proactive than to be reactive mm -hmm. so when it comes to your health you want to be doing things you want to it's, that's why it's important to eat right so mm -hmm. you won't have diabetes you won't have oh, high blood pressure mm -hmm. you won't have all these health risks mm -hmm. so it's good to take that time out to go visit the doctor or to do you know the things that are going to be beneficial to your health and your longevity mm -hmm. right yeah Absolutely. So that's the last thing I want to leave y'all with is proactive and preventative. I love that. Because we didn't even hit on the, you know, the real, right. what the diseases that happens mm -hmm. when you don't nourish yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. And I like how you did bring that up because we, we completely, like, <laughs> we <laughs> over the whole <laughs> nutritional side aspect of the whole nourish yourself, which is kind of very, it's very heavy. And so just a quick tip, we, can, we always stretch drinking water, eating more whole foods, which means eating more fruits and vegetables opposed to the processed foods that are out there. And um, we, I remember at the business luncheon, we were saying how um, systematically they put into lower income or impoverished communities the, the most processed foods that you can dare imagine. So you guys are being exposed to that at a very, very high rate. So it's so, so important to stay on the outside of the grocery stores. And when we say stay on the outside of the grocery stores, that's the produce aisles, that's um, the fruits and the vegetables and the frozen food fruits, fruits and vegetables as well, because these things can prevent the diseases. And combat the, it. Yeah, it can definitely combat the diseases like um, the high blood pressure, the uh, high cholesterol that everybody's susceptible to between the ages of this and that. But if you do start now, start early, you won't be as a, as in high risk for those things that you're supposed to be susceptible to. But it's all about being proactive and to take, making the right choices now. Yes, and if you're not healthy, if you're not 100, then you can't do the things that you love. You can't, mm -hmm. you know... Be where you be, spend that time with your family, do the activities that you want to do. So, take care of yourself first, right? Number yeah. one, Ooh. Mm -hmm. and a huge, huge thing. I know Deborah was had mentioned this in her legal studies. Um, when she was taking her master's pro, I mean, in her master's program, they actually talked about this mm -hmm. and how a lot of people we think because we're physically fit on the outside mm -hmm. that we're good in the inside. But these foods mess with your brain. Mm -hmm. And your brain is the second most important organ in your body after your heart. Mm -hmm. And all the, of course, all your organs are important. But if you don't have a brain, how can you function? And these foods are leading to cognitive disorder. And when what that means is you're at high risk in all of the, what's the words I want to say? You know how we're always saying pray and meditate. When you're mm -hmm. sending off these thought vibrations, it, when you eat, the, the more bad foods that you eat, you are destroying your your neurotransmitters. So it's enabling you to send off these receptors, I mean, to receive from your receptors and send off vibrations. 
So please take care of your brain, y'all. Don't eat these foods, these GMOs. Like, cut them back as much as you can. Okay, Absolutely. I just had to say that. Nourish yourself. So how are you nourishing yourself? Leave it in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Number three, meditate each morning. Meditate. Yes. That's like what I do every single day. Yes. That's the person, perfect right. person to talk about meditation. Because meditation. She really put us on. It's, <laughs> it's not as hard or difficult as people may think it is. And meditation is something that now is becoming more on trend and more people are actually opening and up to, opening up to it. And so pretty much all you have to do is just clear your mind. You want to imagine your mind in a clear space and just it will release stress. And people, you can get to a point where you can meditate just in 30 seconds, 30 point, 32 seconds. You just want to take a moment, just bring awareness to where you are in your present moment. And then you can either fixate your mind on something that you want, like using your imagination, actually seeing it in your mind, seeing the colors, tasting it, imagining what it is, would taste bitter, if it would taste sweet. Um, you can feel it, imagine it, the texture of it. You just want to get as close and in color and vividness as possible. And to take it a step further, you want to ex experience the feeling of what it would actually feel like if you were to have it. That's gonna, what's really tops off the meditation where people don't stress a lot because your feeling is 10 times more powerful than your, well, actually like 30 times more powerful than your thinking. So your it, and feeling is connected to the heart. So that's why the most powerful emotion is love. So you want to feel what it's like in your meditation to actually achieve or attain the thing that you want. So meditate more and Google can elaborate step by step in YouTube and you yeah. might need to pop out of YouTube with you. Right. I would just like to add that meditation is um, is the mind without agitation, which is what Jazz was talking about, stress, because the majority of adults are walking around in beta, like our brain is in beta waves, which is um, the waves that help us operate day to day, mm -hmm. that help us focus and function properly, which right. is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but it can lead to stress and anxiety and just that overload that you feel mm -hmm. sometimes. So it's good to just take that break and to meditate and just clear your mind of everything. Right. And it really, so meditation really decreases those beta waves in our brain. Right. And a lot of the music that we're exposed to, it's, it's, um, it's, um, transmitted to us with, through beta waves. And so, mm -hmm. so much beta waves, uh, uh, overexposure to beta waves is not healthy for the mind because it's like your mind is always moving and it has no time to rest. It's like, so even, so a lot of those of you that may fall asleep with the TV on, they said scientists have proven that that's not good because you're, that's when you're, so your mind is at its most powerful state is when you're asleep. That's when it goes into the, um, I want to say the theta state. The theta. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that that's when you want to be sure that you're protecting your mind. And you actually, that's why they say pray before you go to sleep or meditate before you go to sleep. Cause you want to silence your mind, put it in a close to alpha, then theta state as possible. So that it can be free and released from that beta state. It needs a break. Everybody else, I mean, all the rest of your organs are resting. So it's important that you make sure your mind rests yes. as well. Stay zinned up and zoned out. <laughs> and if you don't know what we talk about, we talking about our t-shirts. Yes. We have stay zinned up and zoned out. You can find them on inspiredbydaily.com slash shop. Hey, that's, well. right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Right now. Number four is commune with nature. Commune. And that's why I was waiting to talk about my meditation. Well, I don't know if this is actually hand in hand with meditation, but how I hear my mind is when I go walking and yes. just zinning up and zoning out mm -hmm. and just taking a moment to just be in the present moment feeling the wind on my face feeling yes. my feet hit the ground looking at the sun absorbing the light really in that state mm -hmm. and once sometimes like you and I find myself thinking about something crazy and then I have to rezone myself like you gotta enjoy this walk exactly. <laughs> with God and so that's how I meditate. Like I feel like that's the best way for me to mm -hmm. personally meditate. With nature is the best way to meditate. Yeah. Well, there you so go. So it doesn't have to be the woosa, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, humming, sitting in a like legs in a spaghetti position. Right, you know? right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 
okay. You can you can also <laughs> sit in a chair or lay down, but yes. or you could just go and connect with nature. That's like yes. nature is alive. You are sitting with all of God's living entities. God is in within each one and every one of those things. So it's just giving you more energy when you meditate with the nature. It's so right. beautiful. It's charging you on ten. Yes. And also being in nature actually is like a form of healing. That's why some people put like greenery in hospitals with that things of that nature mm-hmm. because it brings about healing. So if you're feeling down and you're feeling kind of gross, I always take the time out to go outside and really just soak up the prana. Vitamin D <laughs> that the sun gives off. Right. Right. So nature prana meaning energy. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Glad you clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what nature has been for me. Like. That's why, like, sitting inside and, like, I tell people, especially if they're going through something, don't sit in the dark. Go outside. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling down, don't just be in a closed room. Go outside so you can feel better because it actually does make you feel better. And another thing that makes you feel better is exercising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sun gazing, exercising because it releases those endorphins. But definitely sun gazing. I do that. A lot. It's just right. something about nature that just makes you feel so good and so happy. It right? does. And it takes it away. It takes it everything does. away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just the water, the trees, the environment, the smell, the fresh air. Mm-hmm. Right. It just opens up your mind to just so many different possibilities. Right. right. And I think something that comes through it, which we keep touching on accidentally, is like when you're around nature, you become very thankful because you can't even like imagine like how this came to be and you're just thankful that the sun was made for you that the air is for you these trees like is how is this even possible that's how i feel i feel close to the guy like you really be making this stuff like yes so yes that's how i feel Mm -hmm. amazing oh okay so we don't know okay (laughs) You just gotta sigh after <laughs> So we'll sigh. Make sure you put in that meditation in the morning to get you set for the. Oh, that was not meditation. Nature. <laughs> Connect with nature. Connect with nature any way you can. Commune. Mm. I like that. Commune. Listen to your heart is number Listen. five. I don't know why that comes into my head. I love that. That's true. <laughs> it no, is. Definitely. Yes. And I think for me, this one is like your intuition. Mm-hmm. Like head on when you were your gut instinct, that moment where it's just like when you, all this you just can't even you gotta boot out logic and just like seriously just go inside and connect with God and be like show me lead me mm-hmm. let allow me to have discernment so I can know which way to go mm-hmm. and yeah that's what listening to my heart means yeah this is something I really struggle with sometimes too because. Um, just the fact that, you know, I want to make my family proud, I want to make mm-hmm. my parents proud. And sometimes, you know, listening to your heart is going to, like we talk about all the time, it's going to look different from what mm-hmm. your family Think. expects mm-hmm. of you. Yeah. And so, it's hard. It is. But you have to, you, you feel much better about yourself and you won't live in regret when you listen to your heart and listen to your intuition. Mm. I like that. And I know it can be confusing at times because, and that's why it's very important to pray for clarity mm-hmm. in the sermon. That's what I need to pray for more because, like, when you're going after your dreams, especially if they're unconditional and non traditional, it's like, okay, I want to go after my dreams. What's the best way to do it? And should I still take this full time job um, or should I take this other way? So it's just like, you really have to pray through each step of the way and really, mm-hmm. really take the time out to listen. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes these, sometimes I think that these like um, these other opportunities could sometimes be either a stepping stone for you to let, help you learn something for your dream, or it could be a, a blockage for you mm-hmm. that distracts you from where you're really going. So right. I think as long as you're keeping what you have in your heart, in your heart, first of all, you you can't really. Make sure you're going back to that dream your wherever your heart is leading you. Right. And make sure everything you're doing is to help that dream it or that heart. It aligns with it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because I know it can be confusing. So I guess if you always pri- make it a priority, mm-hmm. whatever your heart longs for, make that a priority. And along the way, align whatever you're going through with that. 
Yes, and I know another thing that helped me too. I did mm -hmm. talk about this in um, in Bible study, and they let me know that mm -hmm. when you're in tune and when you're in line, like you said, with mm -hmm. God and you're on that right path, and everything will be clear. Because a lot of times when mm -hmm. you're not on the right path, it's going to be foggy. It's right. not things aren't going to seem right. But when you're in on that path in line, then everything is clear. You can hear from God mm -hmm. clearly. You can hear from Him like He wants you to. That's right. a good nugget. So that's a good way to know when you are on the right path. When everything is clear, it's just, oh. Mm -hmm. And I think <laughs> for, me, for me, being on the right path is like a collective step of the things we've been talking about. It goes with mm -hmm. the trust. It goes with the nourishment of taking care of your body. Uh, it's because you, even when you're, you know, when you're eating healthier and drinking water, you have that clarity. It's like you're not blocked because there is a, such thing called the um, the pineal gland. And it, when it's calcified, it's actually one of that's the the gland that's responsible for, that's connected with your mind. And so, no one can technically pinpoint the mind. But when that is clear, when you're doing all the steps and you're meditating and praying and all of these, and a, from a holistic approach to health, I think that's when I'm have I can pray for these prayers and they'll be ans answered like immediately that's why when people go on fast that's when yes. you can receive these yes. messages like that it's just like bam boom bang it's just like you're used to have this clarity these your eyes are just your spiritual eyes are open so i think it's definitely a holistic approach to everything when you can when you're when you can actually truly listen to your heart when you're in tune with god mm -hmm. so that's for me. Like that a lot. And we actually fasted before. And I mean, think about how we started this mm -hmm. how we fasted, and it was so clear, it was so obvious, and we did it. Right. right. That's so true. Man, we need to fast again. <laughs> right. I'm down. I'm for real. Brown guy right now, right? I was just thinking. <laughs> so I like that. So listen. Listen mm -hmm. to your heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. Connect with love. Love. Yes, and like Jazz mentioned earlier, love is the most powerful emotion in the universe. Like, it's so yes. powerful. It's so powerful. That's what every religion, every teacher, every philosopher teaches. Mm -hmm. Love. Love is the, is the tool. And I truly believe that because when you're doing something out of love, yeah. and if you're actually your dream is out of love, it has no choice but to manifest. And it has no choice but to help you and help you grow, whether it's help you grow I hope you just be amazing. I don't know. It's just, I love love. <laughs> I think love is what really connects all of us. And I think that's why we feel, and that's why we love our mom and our family and our friends so much. And without love, you kind of feel lonely. Mm -hmm. And that's why people, when they don't feel love, I feel like they act out of character. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, you want to make sure that you're not only loving yourself, that you're loving others. Like, mm -hmm. as a parent, you want to make sure that you're loving your sons and your daughters as much as possible, pouring in that love, because that's really going to mold them. If you're a friend, you need to love your friend as much as possible. Don't we talk about how they back, mm -hmm. pouring love into them, because that's really, I feel like that's what really shifts people. Right. Like, it does, makes you, makes people not, you makes you not want to disappoint people. Like, if you have a boyfriend and you're in love with them, you don't want to do anything to mess that up. If your mom loves you so much, you don't want to disappoint her. Right. So it's just like, love really molds your character. And like right. you said, you need to do everything with love. It just feels so good. And I, <laughs> right. And I think also going back to everything we just talked about, mm -hmm. love is connected mm -hmm. with all of these things. It's like, if you love yourself enough, you're going to, Put the right things in your body right if you love like you were saying if you love your family or you you love your daughters your sons if your sons if as, as children if we love our parents we're going to want to make them proud we're going right. to not want to make them feel bad but mm -hmm. uh, sometimes in some cases we've been given a, a false conception of love and the mm -hmm. way we express our love is damaged mm -hmm. is so it's like we got to get back in tune to with ourselves through all the things we've been talking about mm -hmm. and then you will find yourself understand the true meaning of what love is because love is patient love is kind love is not right. um manipulative it doesn't, it doesn't envy it doesn't it's not boastful it's not arrogant it's not only about self mm -hmm. i know we always talk about love yourself but it's it's a it's a balance it's not just 
I'm selfish, but you want to still have that selflessness to an extent. You don't want to be all selfless when you're just giving yourself away. You don't have anything to show for you because when you're on a plane, I always say put your oxygen mask on before you save anybody else, but you still want to actually help somebody else put their oxygen. You're not about to just put your oxygen mask on and say, all right, deuce, y'all. You want to go help those people out of love. So it's balance. Help yourself. Help others. Don't just try to help yourself and don't just try to help others. Right, and it can get lost. Love can get lost, even when you're following your passion. Mm -hmm. um, you might love YouTube, you might love helping other people, but you want to make sure that you're doing everything with love. I pray for us, for Inspire Fire, that we always keep our mission first, and that is helping to inspire people and not let the money come into play or the um, the fans or the fame interrupt what our true mission is. That's, that's so good. making sure you're doing everything with love first you have to rem you have to remind yourself that you could get caught up like that's true yeah. instagram game up mm -hmm. oh let's get this money but no why are you doing it right in the first place you gotta be authentic it you has to be everything you do has to be with love everything you do or is it gonna it's gonna diminish that's true it won't withstand the t over time the test of time because if you're not doing it out of love everything is gonna come back and, and backfire and, mm -hmm. and that's how the, a lot of people end up back at ground zero yeah so I like that. That's good. Do everything out of love. And you can't feel that way. Mm -hmm. People just feeling your love like, okay. Because you can feel that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can feel y'all's love. I can I feel, feel it. Yes. That's so. real. This whole weekend, we was in Austin. We was living it up. And I just felt mm -hmm. like, this I is know. my life. <laughs> I, I, love love. Love. I, I love, love my life. life. Hey, I, I love, love my life. life. <laughs> Nah, that's how I was really feeling, and it was just like, we kept just telling each other we love each other so much, and like how beautiful you are, how poppy you are, right. and it was just like, how I remember when thing. me and Jasmine were in the car, and she, I was like telling her how amazing she was, and then she was about to come back with me, like, no, you're amazing too, but I was like, oh I was like, look, just take it. you take this compliment, I don't want it, like, cause I want you to know, because Right now, I'm in the state of mind of how of being grateful of how amazing you are and how lucky I am to have you as a friend. So you need to know that I want no compliments back. This is about you. This is why I love you. This is why. This is why I'm just so blessed. Like so blessed. And, and the reason why is because you're just that amazing. And then you are when you're amazing. You seriously when you're amazing and you're doing things out of love. You have no choice but to be surrounded by people that love you back. Yeah. Right. Absolutely, and that comes like even if some people don't have parents to pour in love into them, with the fact that you can exude love and that will attract back to you is so magical. So even if you're not feeling love, start to love yourself first and love other people. This is what people need to realize. Like me and my mom talk about this all the time. Like with my dad, it was like it was hard for him to come and call me and my brother to tell us. Hey, I love you. But when we exert that love, like, hey, dad, you want to hang out? What you doing? I love you. I love you. I love you. Until we, we didn't hear it back. But then all of a sudden, he's like, I love you too. So whatever you put out there will come back to you. And now he's calling us. Like, oh, so you ain't gonna, you haven't been calling me in a long time. Like, that's <laughs> real. Busy, that's, dude. Dude. <laughs> that's so, so, so. Oh, true. And you have to do it without expectation. I, I think me and Justin were talking about that on the mm -hmm. car right back. Like, you have to do stuff without expectations because not everybody's going to give it back to you. You might get it from some, somewhere else, but still give love either way because you're going to make yourself feel better. You don't mm -hmm. want to regret not loving people to the fullest. Yeah. Right. So. And I like how you just said that because most people that we love selfishly, we love with the expectation and saying, since I poured all this and invested all this into you, mm -hmm. what are you going to do for me now? Mm, and right. it's not necessarily to say like you may have invested all that into them and then God may have just blessed you with a brand new car zero money down <laughs> for interest or blessed you with a husband or blessed you with a wife and a loving family or blessed you with a raise a promotion with a boss and that just gives you all the freedom that you ever could desire or it's just like your blessings come in all different forms right. when you were putting these things out it's not so you can receive that exact thing from them it's so that God can bless you along your life along your journey right. and you just wonder like dang why I keep getting so lucky why I keep getting so it's because mm -hmm. you're reaping what you have sown into mm -hmm. other people yes you better preach Oh, I love yeah. that request. So do sow seeds of love. Don't sow seeds of hate. Don't sow uh, seeds of doubt. Don't sow yes. seeds of envy. 
Don't mm. sow things, seeds of criticism. Just mm. sow seeds of prosperity. Sow seeds mm. of I believe in it. I believe in you. So show seeds. Sow seeds of support. So sow, <laughs> sow seeds of a shoulder to cry on. Like mm. sow those types of seeds into people's lives, and then when you may need that helping hand, it's for sure gonna be there. Or even if you don't need a helping hand, you just want some more blessings on top of the blessings you already have. They just gonna be falling in really your lap and scooping all the blessings <laughs> in my lap. I love that you say that because sometimes those things do come up like envy and criticism and hate and we have to make sure that we know to turn around like oh I ain't trying to sow that seed right <laughs> I need to sow I love that you said that and I'm gonna clip that up and that's gonna go viral on Facebook <laughs> and, and ultimately guys it's just unconditional love yeah that's what it is love that agape that love yeah that love without conditions you can love somebody if they're homeless on the street laying with a, a bottle turned over upside down in their own urine and you won't judge them mm-hmm. you can love somebody if they don't believe the same faith as right. you believe you can believe somebody if they're from a different country and you think that they're a terrorist you can love somebody you could just love without limits yeah. because we are ultimately we are all put the although these people have different beliefs from you or different situations it's just, situations and circumstances they are all looking for love absolutely that's, that's what, what everybody loves. right and or love. they all may <laughs> love somebody yeah so everyone knows what that experience feels like mm, i mean that was one of the best ones yeah. connect connect with love mm-hmm. oh, dude, we were we oh, okay. just i was just rebelling oh <laughs> i was losing my gist of it it's like i was mm. on the wrong copy <laughs> We good on love that that love right love. there. So connect out of love. Mm. Mm-hmm. Number seven. That was boring. Number seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's talking about me. No, oh, oh my god. <laughs> be, be of service. Sir. <laughs> I think it's just like Jazz just said. You know, you have to love that homeless person. Mm-hmm. And now I'm thinking about that. I saw a LinkedIn post where a guy was talking about he saw someone. You know like 90 degrees outside a woman just you know by herself in an affluent neighborhood and everybody was just passing her up but he went to a 7-eleven you know got some gatorade some water mm-hmm. you know some food and he went and took it to her and it's about those little bitty opportunities like that to serve people mm. and to you know to give right that's true that's true yeah and a lot of times people if you don't have everybody wants to give or you should want to give because when you give you receive Mm -hmm. so when you even if you don't have the money to give somebody you can give your service if that's just as simply like Kobe was saying helping out give somebody some water on a very hot day like water is essential to life if it's your neighbor you know that they're elderly and they can't take their trash in like you'd be surprised how thankful and how much gratitude they would just bliss on you or like radiate to you just because it, it may be a simple test that we do without even thinking about it, like, oh, but for someone else, like my grandmother, for instance, if, I know she would truly appreciate that because she has to walk with a cane. So imagine someone having to walk with a cane trying to take their trash out. It seems like a minuscule task to you, but it's just like those small acts of kindness that you don't think about, that, that I mean, that goes over our head that we think is too small to do. It, it, like, it doesn't, a service can be from like serving in your um, ministry, your youth ministry, and doing all, and, and serving, um, leading Bible study or leading some type of group, or it can be as big as or, or as little as taking the trash out for some random acts of kindness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just have to think about it like we all need help. I really believe that we're all on this earth to help mm-hmm. each other. Absolutely. Like we're not we're not over here just friends without me helping each other like yeah. i'm helping my mom my mom's helping me i'm helping my brother I'm helping my friend so much helping a stranger on the street we helping a church we helping people everywhere so it's like mm-hmm. people are helping you and you need to help other people it's like we can't get anywhere without the help of others and right of God. so you i just want to think about it like that like we all are really connected because we are helping each other out yeah, exactly so serving, serve, serve as much as possible because like you said, it's sowing that seed of giving and you're going to receive abundance. But don't do it for that reason. Just do it because it's the right thing to do. It feels good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So serve. And I would say um, serve by doing 
what your passion is. Like that's one of the ways to stir. So mm-hmm. if you, you love music, put out beautiful music for people. If you love talking, start a podcast that can inspire people. If you love yes. doing hair, start slaying people's uh, right. Exactly. So it's like serving could be fun, and there's so mm-hmm. many different avenues that you can serve. Exactly. So many different avenues. It's limitless. Amen. Oh, so allow forgiveness. Oh wait, <laughs> we kind of went off topic, but this is something you're supposed to do every day, <laughs> daily serve others with mm-hmm. those little things yeah. like taking out Ooh, the trash. Random acts of time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, taking that time out to listen, like you said, being that shoulder to mm-hmm. cry on, you know, listening to someone, be, you know, being helpful, that right. being an advice person or whatever. It can yeah, be, you have to just do it daily. Make sure exactly. you're Every day, every day, every yeah. day. Mm, mm-hmm. That's something to keep in mind. Cause these are things mm-hmm. you do daily, guys. Mm-hmm. Daily. Yes. Right. Help your mama out, especially if you're living with her. Wash them dishes. Ooh, girl. <laughs> Wash them dishes. Mm-hmm. Say thank you. Take that trash out. <laughs> Take that trash out. Make up her bed. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she do too much for you. Better be certain. Start- if you gonna serve somebody, you might as well serve right. somebody yeah. who's helping you out. <laughs> Earth you. <laughs> You for nine whole months. <laughs> if you look at what's our to do. <laughs> okay, anyways. Allow forgiveness. Forgive. Mm-hmm. And I had to forgive myself yes. yesterday. <laughs> and I was just like, I was beating myself up for not doing something that I probably should have done. It's not even a big deal. It's a video. I should. Okay, you know what it was? I was like, dang, I should have vlogged my birthday experience because it was lit. But then, and then I was like, dang, I should have done that for YouTube, but I don't know what I was thinking. And I was beating myself up. It's just like, I was going to stick to my stomach. It's the stupidest thing. But I was like, you have to forgive yourself for middle school things and big things. Because that, forgiving yourself is really going to free you up. Like, you can't go back. You can only get better. Right. So mm-hmm. you just what I did was I was like, okay, I didn't do that. Let me make sure I bust out a video mm-hmm. tomorrow. And that's what I did. Right. I'm gonna go with um something that everybody can relate to. Forgive yourself for getting involved into bad relationships. Mm-hmm. Whether that's with bad relationships with friends, bad relationships with boyfriends, girlfriends, marriages, even because I know a lot of times when you invest all this time in relationships you feel like I wasted my time. It was me, but, and we negate the fact that these are just learning experiences. Mm -hmm. Maybe these people were placed into your life or you attracted them into your life. And then (laughs) I'm just saying, (laughs) but no, you attracted them for a reason. And it's good that you attracted them at that time because they gave you wisdom and you know, like, okay, I don't need to hang around people that treat me this way. I don't need to be involved with friends that do this type of thing because it's not, allowing me to reach my goals so or allowing me to be happy is bringing me down so i definitely say forgive yourself because if you don't forgive yourself you're going to find yourself in the next friendship or the next relationship attracting that same type of person because you're going to be so fixated and that's when we it we lose that trust we our trust um sensors they become damaged and they become like quilted and you become guarded and hardened because you feel like you didn't you you wasn't able to forgive and move past that situation so Mm -hmm. definitely forgive yourself it's no wrong answers there's no judgment on this earth this plane and the sooner we understand that that there's no mistakes there's only life lessons so Mm -hmm. forgive yourself move on boom bang go slay life and you're gonna be good the sooner you forgive yourself right and just make sure you're learning that lesson because that lesson is going to keep coming because that's how God works. That mm-hmm. lesson is going to keep coming until you learn it. Exactly. So forgive yourself, learn the lesson, and like Jasmine say, slay life. Yes. <laughs> you have to, and not only that, but taking it a step further mm-hmm. and make sure your actions align up with that. So you can't say you forgive that person or you forgive yourself, but mm-hmm. you're still thinking about it and bringing it up every day and bringing up the situation. You know, every time they do something That's wrong, one. so you have to actually <laughs> forgive and forget. Let it go. Like, just let it go. We got to forget. Not for you know you can, but like you ain't gotta bring it up. Every yeah, time. you gotta bring it up every time. You can keep it in the back of your mind. It's back of your mind. Just <laughs> remind you know. Yeah, you know. naive. Yes. You want to be cautious. That's yes. what. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> no, I, I definitely understand that. Because especially like if you're in a relationship, you have to forgive your partner, especially if you decide to stay in that relationship. Mm -hmm. So you have to forgive them if you're going to stay in the relationship. But if you're not going to, like, you could forgive them and leave. Mm -hmm. but, that's uh, also an option. That's also an option. So you, you don't have to keep bringing it up and mm -hmm. shoving it in the face like, you're, you cheated seven years ago. <laughs> right. So what you want, I think it boils down to you have to really be honest with yourself. And be like, can I truly move on for this situa from this situation right. and not hold on to resentment and like literally put it behind me and not keep bringing it up into my present moment? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to move on? Am I going to truly forgive them and say, grow from this, we learn from this. People make mistakes. We're all human beings. Mm -hmm. And not saying you have to do either one. You have to find out how, which one, how strong are you, or what's going to make you be happy and sleep good at night and not have nightmares. Right? You definitely have to forgive yourself because if you're not, you're kind of, basically forgiveness is like giving you the freedom to stop thinking about it, to stop beating yourself up. So forgive yourself so you don't have to keep feeling bad about something that happened mm -hmm. a minute ago or eight years ago. Right. Forgive, forgive forgive especially people who are close to you especially family especially mm. friends especially people who you love because you can't keep that grudge there i know there's like sisters that don't talk to each other mothers and daughters mm. that don't talk to each other because they haven't forgiven when they That's could true. be loving yeah. loving them know. instead so even like in your workplace or even at a grocery store and someone cuts you off in line or mm. skips you or something you gotta be like okay I forgive you because sometimes people are like I can't believe that guy cut me off at 6 a.m. this morning and you still holding that animosity in that person yeah. is not even thinking about you. Don't even know you exist. <laughs> probably didn't even know they was cutting you off because they was texting and driving. Right? <laughs> didn't even know. But you mad over here? Your whole day is you shot the hell. Yeah, <laughs> for real. I got my mom. I got my mom the other day yesterday because we was coming back from Austin. And I was like, I miss my mama. I call her. Hey, mom she's like hello i was like are you okay she's like you know what actually i am kind of i am kind of upset i'm like i'm calling you i want to know where you are so i can meet up and have fun and then she's like you know i am kind of i just let her gush out everything she needs to say but it's like you could be putting that Take stuff anger, on yeah, other, other people, people. Mm -hmm. i'm just trying to love you right now and you got this tone girl <laughs> That's true. That is so, so true. So you also want to <laughs> forgive yourself or just put these things in the past because you can also just spew that negative energy on your loved ones or those that are close around you. So definitely don't want to be carrying around baggage. Like, don't be a bag lady. That's what that song was really talking about. It wasn't talking about grocery bags and shopping bags. It was talking about baggage from your past relationship, baggage from your childhood, baggage from your... Just all these situations Ooh. that we just holding on to. Dang. So free yourself, free your mind, free your heart. Just be free. Yes, take them shackles off. Take them shackles, shackles off, off your feet. feet. So you can dance. Ignite your life day. <laughs> Every day forgive yourself. Yes, forgive. Yes. And others. Allow and others. This is my favorite one. Okay, this is my second favorite one. I'm about to tell you a lot of favorite Okay, these are good. <laughs> they really are. Always be grateful. Thank in parentheses thankful thank, thank, thank just thank you i mean this is for sure like when you are truly grateful when you are truly grateful you can't feel any other feelings because i like there's like there's two different types of grateful it's like waking in the morning i'm grateful for this i'm grateful for that you know mm -hmm. thank you god wake me up da, da, da. but then when you're really in it like today mm -hmm. i was in it like when I was, we was on the, the trip, when we was in, uh, we was in the kayaking, the kayaks. Oh no, actually, when we were on Oasis, when we were out to eat, oh, oh. I was about to cry and I didn't want to mention my makeup. Oh. <laughs> I was really thankful. I was so thankful that I was alive. That I almost started crying and messed up my makeup. I was so thankful that my face was beat, y'all. <laughs> that my friends were around me. That God has blessed me with so many beautiful people in my life. That I'm alive. That I'm about to be 25. Like I was thankful. And then today. I was just, it was like a different type of spirit. It wasn't just like, I think, thank you for this. Da, 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 thank you for this. Right. No, I was, you really have to be thankful. Like, right. really think about the people you love and what you're thankful for. Like, exactly. God, thank you for bringing me out of that situation. I was yes. 10 years ago. Yes. Uh -huh. thank, thank you. Right. And if you just take a moment and view your 
your surroundings. We have you could just look at the next man. We take. Mm-hmm. I remember one time a long time ago. I don't even know if you remember this, Tiffany, but when you know in the winter time when we used to get sick back when we used to eat healthy and our immune systems wasn't strong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but okay, we used to get sick during the winter time, mm-hmm. and her throat was hurting or something. I remember and she's like, you know, we take breathing for granted. <laughs> Cause like mm-hmm. you, you don't mm-hmm. think about until you get a call yeah, like natural. how much you want. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one natural. <laughs> that one natural. Like you should be thankful for the breath of fresh air you can take. Like if that's all you could be thankful for at that moment, just because th- gratitude is one of I think nature is it's like in the top five laws of universal laws of the world that is that brings off a high high vibration. So when you sending out this vibration, the fa- the th- the um the chances of you attracting this back into your life, like grateful opportunities. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So when you have pretty long story short, if you send out, if you're constantly saying thank you for the small things, mm-hmm. it's gonna attract greater things for you to be thankful for, greater opportunities, greater love life situations, greater relationships that you've always wanted. Just. By just by simply being thankful, guys, for the things you have right now. Everybody like, well, I don't have anything to be thankful for. I'm not in my goal. I don't have the money I want. Mm-hmm. I don't have the man I want or the, the girlfriend I want, the, the kids and children and the house with the picket fence or whatever. You know your dream of traveling all the time, whatever it is. But what do you have that, that you can be thankful for right now? So much, so much. So and when much. I start feeling down or out or start complaining, you have you kind of have to condition your mind like wait what am I thankful for? Mm-hmm. It's like I don't get complaining about this, but I have this 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 this. Literally, that's what <laughs> you have to like, and then automatically you start feeling like oh well, let me be. I'm thankful for my resources. Let me mm-hmm. use them. Exactly. Let's get to work. Let's so, get to work. Be thankful every single day. Like every single day. Wake up and think of like what are you thankful for? Mm-hmm. Like. You're, it's a miracle that you you woke up that you right. you are a walking miracle. Be thankful for right. that. You have clean water to drink. Mm. Be thankful for that. You could watch this on something, so you got some digital right. format. Exactly. You have internet service. Be thankful for that, cause y'all know what would y'all be without social media. So, like, just be thankful. You have hair on your head you that's leaking. Oh. If you got your bundles, they slaying. Like, what are you thankful for? <laughs> You got shoes on your feet, you got a roof over your head, be thankful. I know, it sounds very, very minuscule, but if you just start appreciating the slightest things, the slightest, slightest things. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking about what you don't have and be grateful for what you do have. Because if you got, you keep pondering on the negative, you know the law of attraction. You're going to constantly attract more negative into your life. We ain't got time for that. You have to do that daily. You really do. Because it does, like you said, it gets hard. You start thinking about, man, I'm not where I'm supposed Mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be thankful for where you are because you're not where you used to be. You have to think about it. Exactly. You may not be where you want to be, but you're not where you used to be. So be grateful in that moment. Right. Even if you want to just be thankful for that. Like, if you just leave your life this year, last time. What was I doing? And then look at it now. You can be thankful because you are that much further along your journey. Even if it's not financially, you probably gain some more wisdom. Yes. You probably gain more friendship circles that you could have been praying for. You and your mom or dad could have repaired the relationship. There's so many things you could be thankful for. Mm-hmm. So many. So many. <sighs> I love that. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Right? <laughs> Explore, right. <laughs> explore your creativity. Create. Mm-hmm. We were made to create. Whatever it is, we all have different purposes. We all have different talents. Whether that's engineering, whether that's coding, whether that's music, whether that's cooking. podcasting, mm-hmm. cooking. Mm. That's, that's a, a gift. <laughs> that's a real gift. And so, right. Whatever it is, explore it. Explore that creativity. Mm-hmm. I know there's people like. Oh, I love to write. I'm really good at writing. Like, take, see where it can go. Exactly. How far can you push your limits, especially if it's something you enjoy? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, this is the most creative, one of the most creative pe- per- people that I know. Like, she a creative machine. <laughs> like, she just radiates creativity. You just seeps through her pores. <laughs> like, Tiffany, how did you make that look like that in 30.32 seconds? That vision. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. So clear. Right. That's just saying, basically, use what God has given you. Use your talents. And you have to know that you're not 
Jasmine and you're not Tiffany and you're not Kobe. If you, you are you and you have a special creativity within yourself, you can create beautiful dialogue and really break down what's going right. on in the mind. You know how to do instructions like she knows how to break Break stuff down down. Mm -hmm. if I'm lifting weights and I'm doing it wrong she's like do you feel in your back you know you make a B and I was like oh okay that's why I'm doing it wrong so like we all have different purposes and creativity that we need to use we have so many talents and we need each other yes and she can create a mean outfit y'all she is like the most trendy and the way she be pieces yes. together she's like Kobe, just go shop for me it's like you need my personal no, style like so it's just like everybody can create different things yes oh yeah creating different oils and she and you know, yeah, slaying the game i'm just like what do I need to use to uh, cure the sickness? Right. What should I? Let me go look at what Kobe was doing. I remember I feel like Kobe would get to some of What Kobe wear? What would Kobe wear? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. So create. <laughs> create. You, were, you are created to create. Amen. Yes. And it keeps you inspired. It does. Like when you're being creative and mm-hmm. doing things that you mm-hmm. love. <laughs> It just inspires you to keep going and to create more. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's yes. true. That's true. And the world needs that. The world needs whatever you got to create. Trust me. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad somebody create internet. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Think right. about that. If you didn't do what you, your creations and what you're supposed to do, you wouldn't have the things wrong. You wouldn't doing. have light. You wouldn't have Every, Y'all, everything that's not a human being was created. Mm-hmm. Think about created. that. Created. Every single thing that has that's not a human being or a living entity, mm-hmm. I can't say just a human being, right. yeah, dogs, cats, <laughs> somebody, animals, that dog in a lab, <laughs> right? <laughs> but every like the, from the table, your earrings, your watch, your everything mm-hmm. was created. Everything was this, these things started in someone's mind. Mm-hmm. Yes, every single thing around you started. In I feel somebody's like I'm in mind. church. I feel like I'm some old lady in church. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Allow you to bring things outside of your mind into physical manifestations because bless the people, we deserve to know what you can create. Because I might need to use that in a couple years, whatever's up in your mind. Yeah, Jasmine, I might need to know that information about the vitamins that only you know how to break down and say, (laughs) Yes, thank you. Yes, so create because we were created to create. Your mama and your daddy created you, and they mama and they daddy created. So and you got some creating to do one day. Mm-hmm. We <laughs> were created to create. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Third, I love this next one. I like this one too. Learn something new. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna throw a little quote that the older, the elderly say: "When you stop growing, is when you start dying." dying. I love that one. You know I love it. You do. If you, you ain't growing, you're dying. Right. So, That's the show. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. <laughs> grow your and expand your knowledge by learning and exercising your mind. They say the way that that um, elderly people live so long is because they always keep their mind sharp. Whether they're doing like little puzzles, whether they're reading, whether they're just doing some to, something to challenge their cognitive state. So your mind is is a powerful tool and you got to keep that thing sharp to avoid dementia and alzheimer's disease and all that other Mm. scary stuff that's good to think about what's that one quote that they say if if a person knows something they know nothing at all oh the man that says he knows something knows that he knows nothing at all so the moment you think you know everything you really don't know anything you really don't. You really have to keep learning every single that, And that's the cool thing about life. Because if you know everything, that's kind of boring. <laughs> so it's like we go through life and learning. Learning about people. Learning about new things to do. Learning how to cook. Learning exactly. how to eat healthy. Learn, learn, learn. Just soak right. it up. Because that's just... If you ain't got nothing else to learn, like this, this old lady <laughs> came up to us. <laughs> the old lady. Yeah. Our new friend. Our new friend came up to us. But I just felt like the way she seemed so young and down to earth. And she just vibrated off these youthful vibes. And she was older than us. But she was talking to us like we were like, just friends. (laughs) 
And so I was like, what I was thinking in my mind, I was like, wow, that's how she stays young because she surrounds herself with young people. Mm-hmm. And like older people need to know that you can learn from younger people and younger people need to know that you can learn from older people. Exactly. So it's a constant learning because we they know something and we know something and people younger than us know something that we don't know. And a lot of people get mis- um, that misconstrued and mis- misconstrued. misconstrued because they think just because I'm older than you, I know everything and you must obey me. It kind of, you distort that level of knowledge. But we can teach elderly, and they don't have to be like ancient elderly <laughs> people, but we can teach people that are older than us how to work social media, right. how to navigate through computer systems because that's something that you may not, that's just your generation wasn't savvy in that area and you can teach me wisdom on life or probably Mm -hmm. you can even teach me some technical things that I just never even knew Mm -hmm. and so we can't let the age be a barrier a thing to where I know more than you or you don't know nothing yeah you don't know nothing because you're old so I think when the two learn to be open to one another we can gain this beautiful mesh of knowledge so just keep learning, and that's just fun. A student, you yeah. Do. And I wanted to say, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> in your craft, you have to constantly learn new things, yeah. too, because the world is constantly changing. Constantly. Times are changing. And a prime example is um, a lady back in Louisiana. She does my cousin's hair. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> she's still pressing her hair with the hot comb, y'all. A hot comb on the stove. <laughs> hey, we got players. <laughs> no, so, number one, her technology. She hasn't even, not acceptable to learning, you know, the new technology. Mm-hmm. And then number two, the hairstyle. Now, you know, today's day, we wearing our hair big, curly, and, mm-hmm. and for granted it's not for everybody mm-hmm. I understand but still she's not taking the initiative to learn you know the how to sew in right. how to do the different <laughs> hair techniques so i think it's important for you to <laughs> learn and stay up to right. date yeah so you can be better. that's true i was watching the reel today and they were talking about how a lot of the remedies that my mama and grandma must be doing for like the like the babies when they came out are like actually more harmful than anything. <laughs> and Tia was like, her mom was laying her son like on her stomach, mm-hmm. on his stomach, and she was like, Mom, don't do that. It's supposed to be on spice. She's like, I'll put you on your stomach again. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Or like, they did say lay the babies on the stomach. And like, yeah. And, but now, like, they know more information now. So she was like, you know what? I ain't talking. I'm like, I'm not trying to take care of your baby until they one, till you one. But like, you can't you have to be able to learn more because you could be harmful yeah. to your own grandchild. Yeah, that's um, so true. So you definitely you have to take the time to learn. And like I know people are stubborn. I know sometimes I'm stubborn, <laughs> and it's like you don't want to take the time out to really learn, but it's yeah. just doing a detriment to yourself when you're to not yourself. taking out to to learn more, better ways, yeah. mm-hmm. or open to new ideas. Mm-hmm. So, but definitely try something new, whether that's it's kayaking. So a new hairstyle. Oh, yeah. Switch it up. Nobody wants to see the same thing. Don't live your life like a cartoon character and when you open a closet they got all the same outfits. <laughs> right. You better wear those crop tops. Oh you better wear full shirts. <laughs> Switch it up. Switch it up. <laughs> no, but, but the key thing is to learn. <laughs> to be a constant student. To yeah. Just Learn, be open. And you that's know. cool. Learn something new every single day. Whether that's from your friends, your family, your parent, or just trying a new recipe. Mm-hmm. They, recipe. There's a saying that say you can learn something from a newborn baby if you're not so stubborn. Oh, so, wow. like, don't think, don't negate anybody from the channel of who you can learn from. You can learn from every and anything. And the thing is, that's why a lot of people get stuck in their ways and stay unhealthy. It's because they're like, like sometimes you're trying to tell your family, like, this is not healthy for you. Well, dang, what can I eat? Or I've been eating this for 50 years and everything's all right with me. Like, but you don't know that thing might creep up. So it's just like. And things, the foods that you were eating 50 years, the way they're, the mass consumerism is, that's changed now. Yeah, they're not producing cattle and feeding them grass anymore they're gmo in the stuff and pumping <laughs> hormones in them and pesticides and herbicides they didn't have that back in the day but they have it now mm-hmm. so you gotta give it the program mm-hmm. right. but you I love ignorance that. is not bliss ignorance, ignorance is, is not bliss it's death <laughs> literally <laughs> as we've been teaching and the last 
first one, and we do this pretty well. Enjoy life. Yes. Laugh. That is good. No, this is my motto. Yes. Live, mm-hmm. laugh, love. Yes. yes. That's that been all. her motto since I was my motto. <laughs> you have That's why to. she's so vibrant. It yes. <laughs> no, yes. but guys, Live. you gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. <laughs> Don't take life so seriously. It's fun. It's fun. Life should be fun. Life, you should expect abundance because that's what God wants for us. He gives us all the tools. He gives us the intuition we need to follow our heart, to live a life of abundance. We just have to take it. Go kayaking. Go bicycling. Go do it. Go sing in front of everyone. Go talk on the poetry stage and do your spoken word and live. Live. You don't want to die without living. Live. What is that thing you want to do that you haven't done yet? Do it. Don't be scared that you ain't got the money or something like that. Just do it. Just do it. But, yeah, and laugh. Yeah. Laugh. Like, you could do this. Like, you could just blast the music up in your house and just dance like a psycho person (laughs) and just exude all that energy. You could go just running down the street. You could just go breathe in the pride. You could just go smell the flowers. Just live life however you want to. That sounds like me, but <laughs> how are you want to live life? Right. Laugh. The moral of the story right. is don't take life so seriously. If you're walking around life mad, you're doing it wrong. Mm-hmm. And if you feel bad, just smile. Smile. All righty. Thank you, beautiful <laughs> beings, for tuning in. Y'all know what time it is now. What time is it? Affirmation. Affirmation, oh, affirmation time. time. It's affirmation 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 time. Is that, okay. <laughs> so, I was a little feeling today is affirmation time. No. So, if you do not know what an affirmation is, and this is your first time tuning in with us, an affirmation is any positive statement that you use to change your life. We are going to use the most common affirmation that's known as the I am affirmation. And whatever you put after the word I am, you become. So what are you putting after the words I am? Are you saying I'm broke? Are you saying I'm tired? Mm. Are you saying I'm sick? Mm. Are you saying Mm. I just can't do this no more? Mm. Well, (laughs) if you are saying any of those things and you might just look around your life not I. I know I ain't saying that. Though, I only said that to give y'all an example of what it, what the bad affirmations are. But if you you might find yourself looking around your life and your life is just not the way you want it to be, it's because you have been speaking subconsciously. You may not even be aware. So that's why we want to bring awareness to our, our, the words we're speaking on a daily. And just understand when you put positive things after those affirmations, even biblically it states. Let the weak say, I am strong. Mm-hmm. So even if you're feeling just weak, and some days will have you just feeling down and out, and you just may not be the happiest day for you, or it may not just be the best day. But you're not going to tell yourself, tell yourself that it's not a great day. You're not going to tell yourself that I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm broke, all those bad things. You're going to tell yourself you're strong. You're going to tell yourself you're popping. You're going to tell yourself you're amazing. You're going to tell yourself you're awesome. You're going to tell yourself, I can do this. You're going to tell yourself... Things just keep getting better and better every day. Love it. So, it's three of us, and it's hundreds and thousands and billions and millions of you guys. So, you say your affirmations at home. Say them every day, every morning, when you wake up, every night before you go to sleep, throughout the day, when your boss pisses you off, when that person <laughs> cuts you off in the car, and, you know, when someone cuts you in line, you want to just, hey, well, all right, let me say my affirmation because, you know, I ain't trying to go there. So, who wants to start us off? I got it. I mind in my head. Good, good. I am winning in mm-hmm. everything. I'm just winning, 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 winning. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey. I am financial increase and freedom. Yes. Mm. I'm going to take that too. <laughs> I <laughs> am living life abundantly, laughing often, and loving unconditionally. Ooh, I love it. I'm thinking you're taking it too. <laughs> I need to win. Too. You gotta win if you're doing all that. You have freedom, right? I am freedom. Yeah. So, <laughs> liberate. What's your affirmations? If you feel 
like it, you can drop it at the bottom. We would love to hear them. Or you can hit us up in the DMs, tell us Slide what. Slide in my DMs. Slide up in our DMs <laughs> and tell us what your affirmations are. Well, peace, love. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Until next week. And make sure you like this page and share one more again.